Is Washington, D.C. losing patience with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu? This time, the frustration seems to be aimed squarely at the Israeli government itself. According to a report in Israeli television network Channel 13, the United States has made it clear to Israel that it strongly opposes any potential firing of Israeli Defense Minister Yuav Gallant. The report further states that the U.S. is satisfied with Gallant's cooperation. Now, for those familiar with Netanyahu's often tense relationship with Gallant, this development may not come as a surprise. Netanyahu has, in the past, remember, tried to oust Gallant. Earlier this year, after Netanyahu's return from the United States, rumors circulated that he intended to remove Gallant from his post. However, several critical events reportedly delayed that move, including Hezbollah's attack on Majdur Shams and the killing of key figures like the Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran and Hezbollah's top military commander Fawad Shukri in Beirut. Remember, Netanyahu has not been shy about trying to push Gallant out of his government. In March 2023, Netanyahu did in fact fire him after Gallant publicly warned that the government's con controversial judicial overhaul could pose a serious risk to national security. His dismissal led to massive public protests across Israel and Netanyahu reinstated Gallant. Just two weeks later, despite being back in his role, the tension between them has been palpable. Just last month, reports in Israeli media stated that Gallant dismissed Netanyahu's declaration of achieving total victory over Hamas as nothing more than nonsense. The Prime Minister's office quickly responded, accusing Gallant of undermining Israel's negotiations for the release of hostages held by Hamas. Gallant has in the past also raised concern about the absence of a clear post-war plan for Gaza, warning that without one, Israel could find itself stuck in a costly and prolonged occupation with no end in sight. Netanyahu, however, has been relentless in his insistence on maintaining Israeli control of the Philadelphia of the Philadelphia Corridor, a small but vital stretch of land between Gaza and Egypt. This demand has been one of the main sticking points in finalizing a ceasefire agreement with Hamas. And there is another layer to all of this. The strain that tensions in West Asia are putting on the United States. The Channel 13 report highlighted another critical point. American officials have sent out a message to Netanyahu that tensions in the region must be reduced. Why? Because the U.S. Navy's resources seem to be stretched to the limit, the report states that the U.S. aircraft carriers currently stationed in the region cannot stay there indefinitely. Several experts have stated that prolonged presence of U.S. aircraft carriers in West Asia could jeopardize America's ability to respond to other global threats. The U.S. Navy is already feeling the strain of its commitments. For the first time since 2001, reportedly, the American military does not have a single aircraft carrier strike group in the Indo-Pacific region. This despite the rising tensions with China over the South China Sea, Taiwan. This absence is notable, especially considering the military buildup and aggressive posturing from Beijing. Last month, remember, the Pentagon directed the USS Abraham Lincoln to speed up its, its deployment from the Pacific to West Asia, ensuring that it would be ready for any potential conflict with Iran. The USS Theodore Roosevelt, another carrier, had also been dispatched to the region in August to further strengthen the US military's presence. This shifting of resources perhaps leaves the US vulnerable in other strategic areas and it is becoming increasingly clear that Washington DC will not be able to maintain its current fleet in West Asia forever. And the implications of all of this are significant. It seems the U.S. is not just frustrated with Netanyahu's domestic policies or his dealings with Gallant. It's also growing concerned about the strain that Israel's prolonged conflict is placing on American military resources. The Biden administration has its eyes on multiple global flashpoints after all. From China to Iran, maintaining a strong presence in West Asia is perhaps becoming a juggling act that America may not be able to sustain indefinitely.
it could just be a matter of time before Washington starts to recalibrate its involvement in the region. The message to Netanyahu seems loud and clear. Israel cannot keep leaning on the US military support forever. And if tensions continue to go up, Israel may find itself without American backing that it has relied on for so long. The clock is ticking and Netanyahu's political maneuvering, whether it is with Gallant or regarding Gaza, may have to be swift. As one thing is certain, American patience is wearing thin. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.